on one of the helicopters, you could hear the rotors were like slowing right down and then they revved up and then there was this big explosion on the top of the rotors and then it just went bang, ditched in the water. All of a sudden people started popping up everywhere and stopping us and yelling at us, get back. Last night at about nine o'clock, um, the helicopter that you can see on your screen was involved in a counter-terrorism maritime exercise uh, in and around Jarvis Bay. Um, it's, it's part of routine work, which or routine exercises, which is done by uh, the Tactical Assault Group East. There were both Navy uh, clearance divers and uh, and Army Special Forces on board. Um, the while the helicopter was doing a, a routine extraction exercise, it lost power. The the, mo the, the main rotor lost power. Um, the crew were able to shut down the rotor, um, which is in, in really a textbook fashion, and were able to ditch the helicopter in Jarvis Bay itself. I think the thing to, to really point out at, the, at this moment is that this was uh, an extremely professional textbook mm. uh, response to obviously a terribly frightening uh, situation. Um, the result is that, that all ten have, have really pretty well walked away from this. There are two minor injuries. Um, uh, someone's hit their head, someone, another uh, of the personnel has taken on some seawater, but uh, they're being looked at and I think they'll be fine. Um, but it, it is an incredible uh, act on the part of the crew in managing to, uh, to, to get the helicopter down in a manner where uh, pretty well everyone's able to, to walk away. Um, we, we've now got an operational pause, obviously, on the MRH-90. That's the kind of helicopter that you're looking at on the mm -hmm. screen now. Um, and uh, an, an investigation is underway as to why the actual rotor stopped, and, and we don't have answers to that yet.